Hello, welcome to part one of our Lydia Basics Guide. Reminder that this is game version 4.11. This first part will be focusing on essential moves. In part two, we'll talk about basic or common game plan elements. Then finally, in part three, we'll go over some referential items like punishers and combos. A quick note that these guides are meant for beginners or those looking for the briefest of overviews on how a character functions. If you're brand new to Tekken and don't understand all of the terminology, jargon, and so forth, we do have a Tekken 7 system basics guide on this channel, which is broken into six parts for easier viewing. You can find links to those as well as a couple of other good beginner resources in the video description below. And as always, there's a link to the written version of this guide down there too, should you need it. That's it, so let's talk about Tekken's newest edition, Lydia Sobieska. So before we start on this list, note that most of Lydia's move list is very linear, namely to her right. So rather than saying it over and over again, simply assume that unless I say otherwise, that the move is likely linear. Also, as with other characters, we will save stance and full crouch discussion for part two. Lydia's 1 and 1-2 one are more or less standard. Her 1-1 one one is similar to Fang's in that it's unsafe at negative 11 but can yield a juggle on counter hit, so it's good against both duckers and those swinging against a whiff 1 jab. 1-2-4 ends low, so it's risky on that front, but it can be good against buttons since it'll knock down for a free 4-4-3. Note that if you finish the string, you won't get that knockdown even on counter hit. They also need an early crush to crush it, so hop kicks won't normally work, but something like Asuka's down 3 plus 4 will. Sadly, your mid option comes out a bit quicker, so it's hard to use 1 2 4 as a straight up mix up, and the mid option is punishable. Instead, the various 1 2 string options are there to give you back some initiative or bait out a specific defensive response. 3-2 is an I-17 high high launching natural combo. It doesn't jail, but it does recover quickly, so it's notoriously hard to duck and launch punish on reaction. Note that there is a just frame version that does two more damage. There's no other difference with it, but there's also no downside to going for it. Standing 4 is I-13, and since it lifts up on counter hit, both string options will launch, although you have to commit to one of them to get the launch. 4-2 is safe but ends high, 4-3 is mid but negative 10 on block. Since she has so few keep out tools, these are worth the occasional read. 4-2 is also another one of those strings she has that can be hard to punish because of its quick recovery. 4-3 is a safe, low-crushing, mid-knockdown splatter, decent range and active window from frame 17 to 19, nothing fancy, just a nice little tool, especially at the wall. Down forward 1 is a safe I-13 mid-poke. It has terrible range and bad block frames, so you'll normally do the strings instead of a solo down forward 1. Down forward 1-2 one, is a safe natural combo, and although ending high, it's again one of her many tools that recovers quickly, so it's hard to duck punish. Plus, down forward 1-3 is your mid option, an NCC knockdown splatter, negative 13 on block, and if the second hit connects counter hit, it'll launch. The pushback can also make a lot of jab punishes with. Down forward 1-2 is a more common tool, but down forward 1-3 is nice for the occasional read. Down forward 2 is a safe I-15 mid, automatically goes to CFT on hit and a counter hit knockdown for a free CFT 1. Good range as well. This is a primary tool that you will use often. Down forward 3 is a safe I-14 mid knee. Down forward 3-4 is your big threat here. It's mid-mid and a natural combo on counter hit. You get forward forward 1 plus 2 if the 4 lands. Counter hit down forward 3-4 into forward forward 1 plus 2 does a whopping 65 damage and even just the 4 still does 47 damage. So pretty solid reward for negative 12 on block. Really good as a counter hit tool and down forward 3 is a decent enough poke as well. Down forward 4 is a safe rangy I-15 mid poke, tracks to the right which is her weak side, down forward 4 slide 4 cancels into a launcher plus 6 on block, very similar to Fox 344 cancel. Down forward 4 2 which is a plus 1 on block high, and down forward 4 3 which is an unsafe mid provides some additional cover for down forward 4 as well. Pretty versatile move since it can be used for both pressure and keep out. Down 1 is an I-19 power mid, plus 2 on block, plus 8 on hit and counter hit, and it forces crouch. Very good pressure tool. Down 4 is the generic toe kick, so an I-12 high crushing tracking low poke. These will always be good because of how they control both pacing and space, but hers also has really good range, making it more notable. Down back 2 is an I-18 low poke, nice damage, negative 14 on block, negative 1 on hit, and a massive plus 12G on counter hit. Tracks well in both directions, which is why it's so important. It's one of your primary low pokes. 
Down back 3-2 is an I-16 natural combo, starts low, and the second hit will only come out if down back 3 hits clean, which happens a lot farther out than you might think. Very risky on block, but gives good damage and great Oki despite being negative. This is your scary low once you get in range. Down back 3 is negative 2 on normal hit, FYI. Down back 4 is an I-22 power low, negative 13 on block, plus 1 on hit, and a counter hit knockdown for a free forward forward 3. Almost identical to Fakamov's. Down back 3 plus 4 is a safe I-22 mid kick, plus 6 on hit, and it'll auto parry lows and special mids like crouch jab, in which case it gives an additional hit, down back 3 plus 4 1, and a possible forward forward 1 plus 2, although the timing for that is tight. But you'll see it often on Oki since it can also float spring kicks, and of course it'll parry a low get up kick. Generally speaking, it hits really low, so it's good at hitting low stances, and for floating airborne attacks. Since it's the same speed and somewhat similar animation as down back 4, it's good as a mix to that too. Back 1 plus 2 by the way is good for catching floats and low stances too. Down back 1 plus 2 is an I-20 mid knockdown wall bouncing power crush, negative 14 on block so there is some risk there, but very high reward at the wall. Back 2-1 is an I-13 jailing natural combo, it's safe, plus 5 on hit, and does chunky damage. It tracks to her weak side, which is where it really earns its money. Back 2-3 is also safe and good at catching mashers since the second hit launches on counter hit. Back 3-4 quarter circle forward 1 plus 2 is a mid-high mid-string. All three hits are safe on block. Back 3-4 is a natural combo and does a nice chunk of damage. The last hit is a knockdown splatter and is guaranteed if the 4 lands counter hit. Back 3 is pretty quick too at I-17. Although it doesn't jail, the 1 plus 2 comes out incredibly quick, so unless they guess that it's coming, which can be risky for your opponent, or they go for a parry on the last hit, this will typically go unpunished. Back 4 is an I-16 homing high, does really chunky damage for being so quick and safe at negative 3, but you also have a big risk, big reward string option with back 444, which is all a combo. It's normally better to stop at back 44 since it gives amazing 443 Oki. Back 44 will also give back some initiative if back 4 gets blocked. It's a really, really solid homing move. Up forward 4 is an I-15 low crushing launcher, negative 13 on block, it's just her version of hop kick and hop kicks will always be useful. Forward 4 2 is a long range I-13 mid, only negative 2 on block plus 15 on hit and will automatically go to CFO. Many consider this to be one of if not the best move she has so you will be using this a lot. Forward 4 3 is an I-19 mid long range launcher, considerable risk at negative 14 on block but very useful for Oki as we've mentioned since it hits grounded. This is its main use since your opponent has to eat the ground hit or risk getting launched when they stand up. Anytime you slam or knock your opponent down, consider this move to be in play. Some common examples that you'll see, back 4 4 or CFT 4, counter hit down back 4, counter hit sidestep 2, and full crouch down forward 3. Forward forward 4 is an I-15 power mid, decent range and can cancel into a high plus 8 on block launcher which is forward forward 4 slide 3. Running 1 is an I-13 long range knockdown splatter, plus 7 to plus 9 on block. It is a high but otherwise crazy good pressure tool and thanks to its speed it can still be really hard to duck or step. Sidestep 2 is an I-18 chunky mid, 0 on block, plus 5 on hit, and forces crouch. Counter hit knockdown for a free 4-4-3. Nice little tool. Lydia's Rage Drive is a beefed up version of her 4-4-2. On hit, it goes into a tailspin combo, and on block, you get an absurd plus 27 going into CFO. Nice for some instant stance offense, even on block. Note that she does have another rage drive from one of her stances, but forward forward 2 plus 3 is far more applicable and useful. This brings us to the end of part 1. We hope this list helps you focus on Lydia's most important moves. In part 2, we'll talk a bit more about application. Expect that here in a couple of days. And with that, thank you for checking out this video. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube. Also be sure to turn on notifications if you'd like to get alerted as soon as a new vid is uploaded. I also try to stream whenever I can, so the link to Twitch is down in the video description below. You will find Twitter and Facebook links down there too. Lastly, special thanks to our three patrons, Tato, Apples, and Overhaul. That support means a lot. Patreon is definitely the best way to support your favorite content creators, and the more support the channel gets, the more content I can afford to do. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you next time.